This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Let's talk about changing a video's color. Now up front, this is not about color correction. We will talk about that later. This is just about giving a video a different color, a color cast. You see this done all the time. Could be sepia, could be just a different color. And that's really all we want to do here. So how do we accomplish that? Well, start up here. Let's go into our effects. And again, we're doing it from the bin area right here in the tab effects, as opposed to doing it from the pull down menu. Just a little bit easier, I think, getting the information we need from here. Go into image control, and you will notice that we have a feature called colorize. Just simply drag the Colorize filter onto our image and you will see over here that it actually changes. It gives the entire image this cast. If we double click on it here to make sure we have it loaded up here, we go to Filters. Our options are, as you can see, this button here of course will turn it on and off so we can see the before and after. One thing about Final Cut Pro I don't think I've actually mentioned before, Final Cut Pro is a non-destructive post-editing program. Nothing we do really is permanent. We can come back three days, decide we don't like this, don't want to wear it anymore. Basically, we just have to turn that off. This button right here says Remap Blacks. Typically, you do leave that at black. We want our blacks to stay black. This is the color that's permeating the image over there. It's causing it to be that color. This is the intensity of what we're doing, and this is the mix. In other words, mixing it with the original image. Let me do this. Let me pull ourselves back here to normal. Let's change that to something really intense. So I'm clicking this button right here. Say we go to a blue. Click OK. And that's like ultra super intense. We decide we don't like that. We start lowering the intensity. But there's a problem. The problem is, is as you lower the intensity of this color, you're bringing back some of the original colors from the image. And that's not what I want to do. I want an image with grayscales with a one color cast and not all the other colors. But if I lower the intensity, I've got a problem. Here's what we do. Let's start again by getting rid of Colorize. So I'm going to click here and delete it. Back to where we were. Let's do this. First, bring in a desaturate. You drag that down and boom, the image goes to grace. Now, go to colorize. So we'll pick up colorize and drag it on top. Let's double click. You'll notice our filters now have desaturate and colorize. You will also notice that even if I do an intense color like this blue, and I begin lowering the intensity, I no longer get any of the other colors that were part of the original image. That's exactly what I want to do. Remember that trick. Start with the desaturate to get rid of the colors in the image and then use your colorize filter. Otherwise you're going to get colors in a mix. And nine times out of ten you probably don't want that. Desaturate color. One other thing, filters work by drilling down. Desaturate works before colorize. If I'd done colorize first and then desaturate, it wouldn't have worked. They go down. It starts with this one, then it goes to this one. But colorize is a really cool feature if it's used correctly. 